Uh, don't worry about me. I'm a tough cookie. The painkillers are starting to work. I'll be just fine after a good nap. You bet. I've worked on enough remote outposts that I know a thing or two about optimizing them for material production. And if you're in the market for a mining buddy, I'm your guy. Damn, I just can't catch a break. Guess I'll wait around for someone else to pick me up. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. Phew, oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. For a second there, I thought you were gonna leave me behind. What's on the agenda today? You got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along. Surviving being attacked, causing trouble. Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot, could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move! He's trying to figure out our destination, probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah. Thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console, and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Time up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts. Can't believe we got into this mess. Would you be quiet? Trying to make out the grab jump calculations before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vectera. Would you keep up? Once we're outside the star system, the bandwidth goes from instant speed to effectively never. What good is sending a transmission down there? You gonna tell Lynn how royally screwed we both are? She doesn't even have a ship. Do you underestimate how many of my admirers there are in the galaxy, Heller? One of them is bound to show up. Looking to reunite with this handsome face. We're doomed. Capital D, doomed. Got it, okay. Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us. Can't believe we got into this mess. Would you be quiet? Trying to make out the grab jump calculations before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vector.
I'm ready to help out whenever you need me. Well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. Go ahead. I'm all ears. Okay. What's on your mind? You heard of New Homestead and the Soul System? Nah, most people haven't. It's out in the sticks, on one of Saturn's moons. That's where I grew up. Not exactly the most exciting place to be a kid. It's got a lot of ice, a lot of wind, and not much of anything else. I wasn't exactly torn up about leaving to work for Argos. My family weren't still working the wind farms there. I don't think I'd ever go back. Oh yeah, big time. New Homestead was one of the first places people settled after we left Earth. Back then, wind power was all the rage. Some of the equipment at the farm has been around since the first generation of settlers made it to Titan. And it shows, let me tell you. Lots of people in New Homestead work there, including my mom. It's not the greatest job, but it sure beats the ice mines. Have a good one. This assignment reminds me of New Homestead. Boring. Whatever you need, you know I'm your guy. doing any mining out there without me. I find the interior of this ship comfortable. I've got something with your name on it, boss. I've been standing around here an awfully long time, you know. I'm dying for something to do, boss. Yeah, I don't mind carrying a few more things. I've had this on deck for a while now. It's all yours. Am I being reassigned somewhere? Sure, what's on your mind? Working on my biography, huh? Lynn convinced me. She and some Argos miners stopped by my hometown on Titan to refuel, and I happened to be on shift at the spaceport that day. I noticed some rare minerals in her cargo hold and started chatting with her about them. She was impressed by how much I knew about geology and offered me the gig. It wasn't a hard sell. Lynn seemed like a decent boss, and the salary was great. Besides, my rock collection had gotten as big as it was gonna get on Titan. Eight years, give or take a couple months. It's been a great job. Pays decent, and my rock collections never looked better. No way. Whatever you found down there had some seriously weird energy coming off of it. Honestly, I hope I never see something like that again in my life. Hell yeah, I do. 
I've been working on it for years. I used to collect mineral samples from meteorites that hit Titan, or buy them off pilots at the spaceport. Lynn even contributed to it. She offered me a good-sized chunk of tantalum for my collection, as a signing bonus. Yeah, we are. She's been my boss for a long time. I think of her as a friend. Don't tell her I said this, but she's not as much of a hard-ass as she'd like you to think. And despite what she says, I know she has a soft spot for me. I don't. Really. After what happened on Vectera, I seriously needed a break from Argos. And you're not shy about cracking rocks either, so I still get my fix. Lucky for you, I'm an expert on almost everything. Already taken care of, boss. I donated it to one of the tour companies in New Homestead. Geological formations are one of Titan's big tourist attractions. It hurt my heart a little to give it up, but the woman I donated them to promised they'd give me credit for collecting all the samples, assuming she ever puts them on display. That whether she does or not, I'm glad to know all my hard work won't be gathering dust in a storage unit somewhere. Sounds good. Do you need my help? Been keeping busy out there? That's fine, Dusty. All right. What's your question? I did. I know I don't seem like the military type. Like most people, I was less practical when I was young. Well, I lost someone dear to me in the war. I'm as strict as I need to be to make sure my workers' families don't have to go through that too. Mining can be as dangerous as combat, you know. There's a good reason why I've held on to old habits. Is that all? I was starting to think you forgot about me.
Everything looks good on my station, Captain. Need me to help out with some mining anywhere? Catch you later. Yes, you need me? Captain, hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. Cowards. Damn it! Here we go! And once again, we are triumphant. Trying to take a little too much on? Literally.
quiet. Did you hear that? Do you need something? What have you got for me? I have never been one to shy away from shouldering my share of a heavy load.
Need to see what I'm carrying? All right, then.
There's no certainty to the universe at all. Once you really start getting out there, the laws of physics kind of turn into suggestions. You're pulling my leg again, right? What's the weirdest thing you've seen? No exaggerations this time. Hmm. Let me think. Unicorn. Gotta get the sight Not got kidding. Adjusted. What? The mythical mare with the magic horn thing? Come on. Was King Arthur riding on it too? Okay, it was more of an extreme of file in the vague shape of a horse. But my point still stands, you need an open mind out there. You go into the far reaches of space too tightly wound, your brain is just gonna pop like a soda can. actually found me. I do not understand. Is Barrett being held hostage or not? Well, this is turning into a regular constellation party, isn't it? I should have brought drinks. Matsur the Grim here and I actually have a lot in common. Both escape artists. Being captured by Sistep myself, plenty of times. See, that's what I'm talking about. Relativity. We're all just creatures of the universe trying to get away from what's after us. You know, it's actually been kind of nice. Matsura the Grim here is a great host. No sense letting people's last moments be unpleasant. See, that's what I like about you, Matsura. Real renaissance man. I have enjoyed our time together, Barrett. But I can't just let you go with nothing to show for it. Is Constellation willing to pay ransom in exchange for this man's freedom? Take your time. Neither of us are going anywhere. Got nothing to say to you. It's not so bad here. Although I wouldn't mind if you could talk Matsura into letting me go. Matsura's in charge. You're lucky the boss is so generous. Got nothing to say to you. Always looking for the next boss. Sora's in charge. You're lucky the boss is so generous. Got nothing to say to you. Matsura's in charge. you came for me. I knew there was something special about you. You're lucky the boss is so generous. Nobody can stop the Crimson Fleet. You convince Matsura to let me go, and we'll be on our way. Please, go on.
Let's see. I've been in Constellation for a long time, as you know. I enjoy cheese, mm -hmm. my work, and long walks on unexplored planets. <laughs> what else did you want to know about? Well, I think about it a lot. There are so many possibilities. Some wonderful, some terrifying. I'm not a fearful man, but I am just a man. And I'm keenly aware that this artifact could change my life. Or end it. I think it's pretty clear now there's a possible correlation between the visions and the powers. Of course, correlation isn't necessarily causation. Once is a fluke, twice is a coincidence, and so forth. But once I get back into academic mode, I'll be writing a paper that will suggest the connection is valid. Obfuscating the identities of the powered, of course. Which means we all get code names. Fun, right? On Bendy. No, wait, it was Kazal. Uh, I can feel Lynn's admonishing stare boring a hole in my back. She's not actually standing behind me, is she? Well, point is, my story's probably a lot like yours. We dug a pit, found some really wonky readings, and followed them to the artifact. Well, when I picked it up, I had no idea what it was. I knew it was something spectacular, though. I saw a vision, flashing lights, the whole shebang. 